Entertainer Steve Crawford was pulled from a hat on July 4th, 1959 in Ponca City, Oklahoma. After being inspired by the movie Houdini, he entered the magical world of entertainment while only six years old. He started performing professionally while in the fifth grade under the name Houdini, reflecting the name of his childhood idol, Harry Houdini. His university major was in acting with a minor in psychology in order to study hypnosis. While working towards his degree, he continued performing regularly, including opening acts for Alice Cooper, and worked summers at Spring Lake Amusement Park and SeaWorld. After replacing an injured Evil Knievel at the Mid-America Motorcycle Races, with a welded steel box escape, Steve began building a national reputation for his escapes. It began with a handcuff escape while in the seventh grade, but later became front page news as Steve broke a world record with the escape. We're ready. I've got the stopwatch. Okay, go, Gene. Yeah, out. Whoa, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see these. All right. Very good. Look at the stopwatch, Steve. 1.47 seconds, and that is less than two seconds. is a record. Congratulations. He left a trail of mystified law enforcement officers with his ability to escape from their jails. Finally tonight, an Oklahoma magician attempts his own version of the great escape. Now, who will win, you see, Steve Crawford or the walls of the state prison at Lexington? Crawford checked himself into a cell. He's been strip searched, and the cell was chosen at random. Now a curtain is drawn over the cell, and the great escape begins. If he can't get out, Crawford has to stay there until Monday. But just 28 seconds later, folks, Crawford emerges, a free man. Not the walls, it's not the uh, barbed wire. I think it's the people that make an institution work, and obviously this is a very successful institution, and I can vouch for these things. That's about as secure as they're going to get. Prison guards said they were amazed at Crawford's quick escape and say they don't know how he did it. Prison guards did strip search him, so I guess it really is magic. And he's not telling. No, <laughs> of course not. Steve won two international magic competitions, including the coveted Unlock the Magic Award from the Nabisco Corporation. Hundreds of magicians auditioned, and a promotional campaign came with the award. He didn't stop there. He worked for dozens of corporations promoting their products in sales meetings and trade shows. Television commercials also gave Steve an opportunity to use his acting education. Then he landed this national commercial where only his hands were shown. Store brands build an almost magical sense of loyalty among shoppers, increasing both sales and profits, helping independent retailers compete successfully. Store brands simply give shoppers better value at a lower cost. And as you can see, that saves them money in a flash. For the consumer, store brands provide a quality product with a genuine savings. For the retailer, store brands help build loyalty. They carry a value image to the consumer and multiply profits like magic. Do this, watch. <laughs> he performed regularly on various television and news shows. Then he got a big break. He auditioned for a part on the Fox television show, The Magical Mystery Tour. Steve became the co-host. The Saturday morning program was designed to educate young people on how our world works. Steve would end each episode with a major illusion relating to that week's theme. In this example, after viewers learned about aircraft construction, Steve even fooled aircraft company employees when he flew an airplane while blindfolded. Steve continued to provide entertainment for a variety of engagements across the United States. Today, he often provides entertainment for major fairs, features an animal circus, circus sideshow, and a kid's circus. As time allows, Steve continues to move forward in his acting career doing commercials, television, and movies. 
More than a dozen optional outdoor escape stunts are now available, featuring locked and chained to weights before being tossed into a pool, escape from a box after being tossed from an airplane, a straitjacket escape while hung from a burning rope, escape from a box before a racing truck crashes through it, a car trunk escape, strapped to tracks of roller coaster escape, box escape from the bottom of a lake, and a stunt where Steve is buried alive, and a reproduction of Houdini's famous attempt to escape from the Chinese water torture cell. Stand-up comedy and magic shows, hypnosis shows, as well as close-up eye-popping sleight of hand. His 20-year association with Silver Tree Productions allows Steve to present Las Vegas-style illusions and other shows. Actor, magician, hypnotist, escape artist, television personality. There are a lot of parts to make up Steve Crawford. Steve and his team of experienced professionals would like an opportunity to tailor a program to meet your needs.